Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one I'm going to be covering some news of AQ3D, AQ2D, and Hero Mart. First, I wanted to show you this. This is one of the new wings that are going to be coming to AQ3D. Now, this is going to be in the treasure chest. You also have another color of it as well, the blue color. And Winnie said that there's going to be multiple other colors available as well. These are going to be treasure chest items. Dej made this awesome looking set. This is the Oni set and most likely this is also going to be a treasure chest item as well. I love that armor set. You're going to have four different helms that you can choose from and each one of them look unique and awesome. In case you were not aware, in August we are going to have a Friday the 13th, which means Camp Gonna Get You is going to be returning, and this is one of the things you're going to be coming across. For those of you looking forward to AQ2D, Artix posted this tweet on Twitter and posted this image along with it, saying that the resolution is higher, it's super smooth and nice, and Warlick got the color customization solution working, which is good news. Posted an image here saying logged into both games at the same time. Not bad. Then it shows that he's on AQ Worlds and on AQ2D at the same time. But this image also causes issues because posting something like this makes it seem like it is literally the same game just a ported over version to mobile. And this is causing a lot of confusions, which you can find just by reading some of the comments. You'll see some people posting comments like this. I'm still not sure what AQ World Mobile really is. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. They do. What's the game play going to be? Is it going to be a remaster port of old AQ World? And this person here says, will AQ2D and AQ World be cross progression? because he spent a lot of money on AQ Worlds. And this is, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people that are saying the same thing. They're trying to figure out what is this game? Is, is it just a port or is it a whole new game? I think Artix or somebody from the staff needs to post a more an explanation as to what they're expecting with AQ2D so that the player base will understand because if people are literally expecting a ported version of AQ Worlds and then they get into the game and it's not, they are going to be very upset. So it's going to be a really bad review stage on this early stages. So he needs to get that information out there, letting players know what AQ2D is and what they expect of it and what the players can expect to experience. Hero Mart tweeted out that there's new logo t-shirts that are out to show your love of the lower dragons and they're looking awesome and that you can earn hero points. And if you guys did not know, they brought hero points back to AQ worlds where you can purchase certain items and classes and stuff using those hero mart i mean so those hero points jumping over to hero mart you have hero point rewards where you have these different items here and i'm going to post the link to this in the description of this video and you can go and check these out here's the thing you've got let's say this shirt right here a while ago, this shirt came with a cape. You would get a cape with this shirt, but the cape is not, it doesn't show, it doesn't say anything here regarding a cape, which means that the cape does not come with this thing. However, you can see here, it explains that you can meet Stretch in the new shop in AQ Worlds. You can also find him in Dragon Fable, in Epic Duel, and how to find his shop in AQ3D. That's right. These hero points are coming to AQ3D, which means there will be items available to purchase with hero points. That is really cool. And you get hero points by purchasing these items that are in here. I'm not sure exactly how many items you get. Four, four hero points. So you get four for purchasing this shirt. So it's 20 bucks. For four of those here's a ten dollar item right here and i'm assuming it's two hero points there you go so five dollars is one hero point basically that's the way to look at it for those of you curious where is stretch going to appear in aq3d i'm going to show you because he's already here you're going to want to jump to the magic shop and head out the door 
but you're not going to be heading too far because right around the corner is the hero mart warrior there he is right there now right now he doesn't have anything available because the hero points have not been implemented just yet but you've got some weapons right here are these going to be the weapons available i sure hope not i don't think so i'm most likely they're going to be a lot cooler than that but we'll have to wait and see one last thing I wanted to point out, which I hadn't gone into details about in my other video where I was telling you about the changes they made with the targeting, but I hadn't shown you anything further going on to that. So I just thought I would explain that really quickly. They added a new thing right here. So you have the target next enemy, which they've always had, which is what I always use. And then they have target the closest enemy. So instead of next enemy, instead of toggling through each one of the enemies that are within this area you can actually just target the closest one and on pc you'd be picking whatever key it is that you want to add that to so that is exactly how that would work which is a really neat idea they also have target party member now this is another thing that is really comes in handy in dungeons if you have a party of four and you want to apply a buff to one of your teammates you can then use your things here on the mobile side of things it's a little bit different you have the target button option so you can either cycle your targets just like i showed a moment ago or you can go to the closest enemy to the nearest enemy so you can choose which one you want to do that's how they decided to do it on mobile which makes sense so you've either got the target all of them you know cycle through or go to the nearest one honestly i think maybe the nearest only would be the best option but i'm not sure you'd have to try it out you've got the um, joystick mode as well which now you can have it drag follow or fixed so I don't think that was there before. I'm pretty sure that was one of the new implementations as well. For the set of the day, I'm going with this one right here. I love the look of this thing. It's got a nice color scheme to it, and it made it into the set of the day. While I'm at it, I'm going to do one more that I'm just going to pick randomly and find out who the winner is. Here we go. Cryptoc right there. He, uh, this is actually really nice right here this is a really good shot and that is an epic looking set i absolutely love that that was really fun actually so i'm just gonna pick one more randomly and next one there we go that's the one actually that looks really good it seems to be a shadowish type thing so it really goes with his name really well and love the color scheme on it works perfect made it into the set of the day and that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.